two and a half years ago, um, my sister died from a heroin and suboxone overdose. And at the time, my baby brother, Stan, he was addicted to heroin as well. And being so devastated from losing my sister, I was willing to do whatever it took to help my brother. And when people think about Utah, they think about this beautiful promised land <laughs> where people don't swear and they don't drink coffee and nobody uses drugs and nobody smokes, but that's just not what's going on here. I mean, the opiate epidemic, I know that it's causing a huge impact across the whole country, but we have felt it very strongly here in Utah. I knew that I had to help give people another option. So I did, I've done a lot of work around opioid awareness and overdose awareness. Uh, and then the needle exchange bill passed. So the syringe exchange has been up and running in Utah for almost two months. People bring their dirty syringes to us. If they don't have any, we will still give them however many syringes they need. But we give them clean syringes, we give them tourniquets, alcohol swabs, first aid kits if we have them, naloxone if we have them. All the things that it takes, they're called works. All of those works for people to be able to inject drugs safely. We are running up to the store to get some brown paper bags for the exchange. We don't like to just hand people all their supplies, especially because almost all of them are homeless. They don't really have a place to keep them. I think we've never seen less than 50, but we probably serve between 75 and 100 on average in two hours. And ultimately, we just want to be a conduit to help people get to wherever it is they need to go. I know that it's scary to think about things like syringe exchanges and supervised injection sites, but the truth is it's just because we want people to not be addicted or not use drugs anymore. It doesn't mean they're not going to. Here in Utah, we didn't do Medicaid expansion. So we've already been battling a lack of health care coverage here in Utah for years. And with the repeal of the Affordable Care Act, without a replacement especially, one of the things the Affordable Care Act is, did is cover substance abuse treatment. More than ever since doing this, people have told me, you're so awesome. Thank you so much for caring about us.